Good evening, you guys. Welcome to Team Unite, our coaching sneak peek. I want to welcome all of you on this call just to open your hearts and your minds to listen to what coaching is, how we do it, how it's changed our lives. Um, obviously, we could go on forever about what it does for us and what it's meant to us. Um, but we want to make it short and sweet and just let you guys know that there's nothing special about any of us. We just all had a desire to change our lives and it just went from there. Um, that's literally all we do is we just share our life, we share our journey, we share our story day after day and we are hope givers or dream chasers and we just try to exude that to everyone that we talk to and let them know and let you know that you can do it too. We all can do anything I truly believe that we put our mind to. Um, just takes hard work and dreams do come true. That is definitely for sure. So we do have some slides. We want to do this with you guys and share just a little bit about us. So my name is Desiree. This is Stacy. <laughs> um, here I am down here. She's my twin from another mother. Um, and I have been a coach for six years. Um, I'm a single mom, my daughter's eight, and I also now have started fostering, which has been, again, one of, a, one of my dreams for over 12 years now, and we just finally started this year. And again, that's what this business has let me do, is achieve that dream. So my foster daughter is two, um, and I'm gonna make my story super short. Um, I realized when my daughter was young that I had no energy, I had no passion, I had no get up and go. My, I've always wanted to be an entrepreneur and just had crazy dreams and plans and that kind of just went away as I got older and became a single mom and all my plans seemed to go crashing down, right? That happens, that's life. So. I was invited to a challenge group on Facebook by one of my friends. I jumped in because I needed to get in control of my health. I am what I call, I was skinny fat, <laughs> which means you don't have to be overweight to be unhealthy. Um, I, you know, thought I ate good. I kind of ate good, but I ate a lot of junk too. I just felt like crap. I would literally put my daughter to bed and just lay on the couch and watch TV the rest of the evening. I'd get up, go to work, do my thing, be mom, cook supper, clean house, go to bed, go to work on repeat. And it was just not fun. I wanted more for my life. I wanted more for my daughter. And I want her to grow up knowing that she can do anything she wants. Um, and I was not being that example for her. So I jumped in the challenge group. I fell in love like literally right away. Um, and everything changed. So I started feeling better. I started losing weight. I started having like so much excitement and energy, which was a game changer for me because I had no energy at all. And I was in my early thirties at the time. Um, I'm in now in my early forties. Um, and so huge game changer, like people noticed a difference. I started just sharing my journey on Facebook. And that's literally like I started without a second guess. I just knew it's no different than, you know, us ladies, we like to talk, right? Like if I found a good pair of clothing and some jeans, girlfriend, I'm going to tell you where I got it. If I ate this amazing steak at a restaurant, I'm going to tell you that restaurant was incredible. You better go there. This is no different. It makes you feel amazing. It changes your life. I was like sharing it with everybody. And that's literally what we do as a coach. To me, this is a bazillion times more important on sharing because it is life changing. It changed my life. My daughter can tell you she's eight now. She was three when I started. Um, she will tell you I'm a drastically different person. Um, and so I wanted to share that hope because I, you know, I was a single mom. I wanted to share that hope with other ladies that, you know, you can feel good. You can have energy. You can 
do things that you used to do when you were a teenager. You know, I used to play all the sports there was, and then here I was over here, like couldn't even run around with her because I was so tired. So that led into the business. Again, I just started sharing. That's what the business is. You're literally sharing your life. And I love now that I get to help people on their health and fitness journey and change their dynamic of their family. But then also, I don't want to say one's greater than the other because they're both great, but I love when people do the business because you're changing your future for your whole family and you're changing your legacy. Um, because when I die, the business that I've created, I actually get to leave that to my child. So that's a huge deal. This is also my plan B. Like I all, you know, I've always worked multiple jobs just cause I, you know, I just always wanted to get ahead in life. Um, and so, uh, almost two years ago, my corporate job let us go. Like with a two month notice, like it was a huge shock. And if I had not been working this, I wouldn't be where I am today. And my dream since I was a child was to be a stay at home mom and wife. And again, that never happened because life threw curveballs and I had no, you know, I had no plan of being a stay at home mom or a single mom with one income. But this let me not have to go look for another job. I made a decision. I was going to rock this as hard as I could because I had built this business up in pockets of time over those four years. And that's what I want each one of you to hear tonight is that this business will change you from the inside out. It will give you passion. It will change your mind, your physical body, your spiritual health, your mental health because of what it gives us in our challenge groups, in our teams, it gives you community, it gives you friendship, it gives you so much. It gave me so much that I had no, like I just thought I was getting in a challenge group to lose some weight, right? And then really the weight of the world kind of disappeared and then all this joy and happiness and passion came in, in place. And I didn't know I needed more friendships. I thought I was, you know, we all have friends, right? But now I have like long lasting friends who are the same as me. They're go getters. They're passionate. They're loving. They support you no matter what. Me and Stacy met because of the business. We met on Facebook. She lives in Maryland. I live in South Carolina. I mean, we would have never met. Me and Bambi met because of Facebook. So it brings so much and even if I never made a single penny, I would do it anyways, because it's changed who I am. Drastically a 360 different person. I would never in my life be sharing on, on, a, on a topic or a live video like this because it would scare me to death and I was super shy and it's just brought me out of my shell into a different person. Um, it's let me and my daughter create dreams and sorry I didn't know if somebody was trying to get on <laughs> um, we create a dream board every single year and as the year goes on we get to cross off things that we're doing and that we you know we're accomplishing and that's because of the business I would never have had that mindset to do that or the drive to do that before this so you know we got to build this house that we're living in that was a blessing. I get to be a stay at home mom. That was my biggest dream ever. Um, and now I have that time freedom and freedom to each one of us means something different. Um, it doesn't mean, you know, I'm going to have $10 million in the bank. It means that I get the freedom to make the decisions that I want to make. If I want to stay at home, I get to stay at home. If I love my if you have another job and you love that job and you want to work it and then just take off whenever you want, you get the choice to do that. Like this is about freedom for you and your family. And that's what this offers. Yes, it takes work and persistence, but anything good, right? Anything good takes work. Um, and it's not going to happen in a blink of an eye. But me and Stacy are living proof that when you have a dream, and you want it bad enough, 
you have your vision. I, I keep looking over here because I'm looking at my vision board. <laughs> Anything is possible. I have it in front of me. I look at it every single day and it keeps me focused. So like when I'm having a crappy day and nothing seems to be going right, I know that I'm going to put in the work, even if I don't feel like it, because it's worth it. You know, um, like I said, I used to work a corporate job and at lunch break, I would sit there and message people. If I was at the grocery store line waiting to check out my groceries, I would message people. So I got to work this business whenever I could and it brought me to where I am today. And I can't imagine, you know, where we're all gonna be in 10 years because our team is growing and growing. So let me slide to the next slide. So this is our bigger team. And I already talked a little bit on community and what this has brought to us, but I cannot, and I'll try not to get emotional, <laughs> but uh-oh, let me go back, stop. Um, Again, all of these ladies, I did not know a single one of them. And down here in the red, the picture in the red, this is our big team. So once a year we meet up um, for a training, it's a ton of fun and we just all connect, spend time together, we learn together. And what's great about this, I don't know, you know what job you guys work at, but I know any job that I've had my whole life, so I'm 41, I've, I've actually liked all my jobs, but never once did my boss come up to me and say, Desiree, you are doing an amazing job. I want to give you a trip or I want to send you a gift every month just because, you know, you're, you're just doing so good in your work and I'm proud of you, whatever. Like I've never had that type of recognition or, you know, uh, in, um, employees around me that go out for dinner on the weekends together or go on a trip together. You know, I've never had that community. This brought a whole new thing to my life that I had no clue was even out there. Our company recognizes us all the time for things we do. They send us on trips for, you know, doing good in our business by just helping people change our lives. But the best thing is if I lost this community, like I would be devastated. And it makes me tear up because this is, this is my family. Stacy's my family, Bambi's my family. Like I could imagine not being able to see these ladies, you know, even if it's just once a year. They call me and ask me about my kids. They encourage me in my business. They want to make sure I'm doing okay because we had a scare with my dad earlier this year. They checked on my dad. Like this has been a game changer. So if there's anything that needs changing in your life or that you wish you had, this is something I didn't know I was missing, but until you have it, you never want it to go away. So when you, if you see that, hey, this is something that I'd like to give a try. Not only are you doing it to reach some of your goals over here, you're gonna gain a million things you never knew you were missing out on. And it, that is what I'm talking about when it changes every aspect of your life. From your health, that's normally why we all start. And then you start seeing your finances change, but your life is gonna change forever because of these ladies, because of our team, the friendship and how we just support each other throughout, throughout the business, but more importantly, throughout our life. Um, it's, I can't say enough about it. So I'm gonna let Stacy take over the next few things and share more about what we do. All right, guys. Well, I will make mine short and sweet because we know you know, one of the big things that we preach is you need time with your family, right? That's a really big thing. Um, the first thing that I want to say is I'll give you a little bit of my story, but I really want to give you more of an impact. Um, 
I think the biggest thing that I can say to you to help impact you on a decision that you're going to make as far as, you know, your future and where you see yourself, mind, body, spirit, um, the legacy that you want to leave behind, how you want to walk the rest of your life on this earth. And for me and Des, I know I can speak for um, both of us. You know, you really need to have something in your hands that's going to help you grow your soul. Like it's everything. Um, the dangling of the carrot, because we're females, is we want to lose weight, right? That's like the dangling of the carrot that gets your attention. But I got to tell you, if you've gotten a tingle tug from this, if you watch our stories, if you lean in and read a post, if you go in and scroll and search for our names, there's something more that's calling you. It was what's calling us when we started. So I want you, I'm going to use the, the phrase tingle tug because the beginning phase is I want to lose weight, right? She looks really happy. I need to do what she's doing. But I also don't want to sugarcoat it. I want to excite you because this kind of happiness gives you the ability to do the work, like the grit, like to get into the dirt and to just get dirty and just blossom yourself with every ounce of your reason, your purpose, not somebody else's or a have to or a should. These things that we cultivate over time and as we grow, Sometimes we can view things so negatively that we don't see our positives in it, right? I saw coaching as an opportunity to get another source of income when my husband's company went on strike. But I got to tell you, that wasn't the first reason why I jumped into coaching. The first reason why I jumped into coaching was because when I heard that my husband's company was going to go on strike, and at the time, we just became a new family of four with our newborn little girl, Kenzie, and I had just officially, like, was in this, this sorority, this adult sorority that I like to call, literally, for the first nine months I was in here, I dropped my 30 pounds, which was my goal. But all I practiced was discipline and showing up to the accountability group. My coach told me, don't worry about a result, worry about building your discipline to get to what you want. And gosh, has that served me in so many arenas of my life. That was the first gift that my challenge pack served me. It served me to not go for the scale goal. It served me to go towards the discipline to creating the joy and the work that I had to do for my inner happiness. So that's kind of the mind shift. And this is what makes Beachbody and our coaching so unique because you're not going to get two other coaches or a community team unite that says, we want you to work your hiney off to have the most extraordinary life possible by using your journey, not being perfect, your journey into helping others people change their lives. I think of myself as a hope dealer. I am not a salesperson. I am not afraid because I know what it did for me. So when my husband's company went on strike, I selfishly said to myself, holy, mm, what am I going to do to keep my Shakeology on home direct? It was, I know that's, that's awful, right? It's awful to think that when, you, when your family of four is like, there's no money coming in, right? I was like, oh my God, how am I going to? Because what happened was I rebirthed myself. I got really happy. I got really consistent. I got really good at having a better relationship with food. I started to see beyond what the, the, the beginning phases gives you, right? I started to see that because I immersed myself in these vital behaviors that we were taught. And I saw this opportunity and my coach literally said, you do what I do. You're not getting paid for it. What if you attach it to a goal or a vision that you want for your family? So I attached it to a very reverse engineer goal because I want something huge, but in order to get to the huge, you got to go for the small. And it's like building those steps, right? So my first goal was, can I just get diapers for my daughter so we don't have to worry about that? while we don't know when the strike will end. And then I also wanted my Shakeology paid for selfishly because I didn't want to let that go. 
I also knew that my mental health and my body and my wellness was more important than dealing with the curveballs of life. Because how can you deal with a curveball or an unexpected or a plot twist if you are not okay, both mind, body, and spirit? I was afraid of what stress would do because I had already witnessed that before in my father's suicide. So my job and my tingle tug was, I need these tools. This is my lifeline. It's my life raft. It's for my thoughts. It's for my feelings. It keeps me afloat. And when times are tough, I lean into my community and my business even more because to serve other people while in times of need for your own self, it makes it seem like it's supposed to happen to better serve. And if you like to serve people and if you like to make people feel good and you want to feel good too, this is totally for you. Okay. So that's kind of my story briefly, but I wanted to kind of give you more of the inspiration, more of the hope, because I want you to think about right now, what do you need to build relief right now, physically, mentally, spiritually, and your budget? What do you need? And do you like to serve people? Do you like to make people feel good? Would you like to share with them the work and the grit and the grind that you're doing to build your backbone into confidence and say, hey, girlfriend or boyfriend, look what I'm doing. Why can't you? Right? Kids believe more than adults. Do you remember how we used to believe that anything was possible? That's who we need tonight on this call. We need the inner child of you who believed in hopes and dreams and possibilities because that's still tapped inside of you. We get bombarded with adult things and then the mind takes over and it will kill any of your little dreams that you've ever had. And let me tell you, Beachbody, our team, what we stand for, I have never, it's been a long time that I wake up with purpose. It's been a long time. And when you can wake up with purpose and know that you have a place in this earth, on this earth, to do a certain duty of service for yourself and to another human, you are very valuable. And if someone did not say that to you already, let her, Desiree and I, be known that you are here for a purpose. And you're here because there is something calling you for greater. So I'll go to the next slide really quickly. And, you know, I just want to talk to you about the products because, you know, our team is about community. Our team is about the products. Okay. Listen, what I love most about these products is they are not products. They are therapeutic tools to enhance your life. Let me say that again. They are tools to enhance your life, okay? It's very different. These color-corded containers, I was just having a conversation with one of my challengers. She was saying, gosh, Stacey, I would really love to dive into these containers, but they scare me. And you know what I told her? I said, what if that fear is supposed to make you dive into the containers and you know what I told her? I said, I want you to go and take those containers and I want you to hold them in your hand and I want you to do diary entry on a piece of paper and purge what comes up for you. Because I can guarantee you it has nothing to do with weight loss. It's the fear of, and you know what she wrote back? Commitment. I'm afraid of commitment. And I said, what a beautiful, amazing way that these containers just served you. Not even with food. It's trying to get you deeper. Does that make sense? I hope this makes sense. Like those containers, if that brings up fear of commitment, that brings up a whole lot of your past, right? That might be hard to work through, but this is not a sprinter's lifestyle. This is a marathon lifestyle, amazing thing that can heal legit everything. The more you practice our vital behaviors, which are personal development. I know it's not on here right now, but one of the tools is not a beach body tool, but it is a mental wellness tool. It is literally personal development. I listen to audiobooks every single day. I'm currently reading or listening to Becoming Michelle Obama. Amazing book, by the way, and she also narrates it. It's 
extraordinary where she has come from, where she is, and where she's going. And what happens is, is when you feed your mind with five minutes a day, literally, I listen to her on my walk outside in the mornings. That can do so much because the heaviest weight that we carry, my friends, is what's in between our ears. That's your heaviest weight. It's your greatest thing to stop you and to keep you in that little corner that you don't belong in. So five minutes a day, literally, audio book, Bible reading, dancing, singing out loud. It's whatever is going to bring food, so to speak, to your soul. It's really important. The beach body tools are obviously our beach body on demand. Guys, we have the net flex of powerhouse workout programs. I don't care what anybody says, you can't beat this. And I will say this too. We never had to close our doors during a pandemic. We never had to say, I'm sorry, the gym is closed. We never had to say, we're sorry, the trainers are unable to serve you. We never said, that the nutrition was gonna be unavailable. We never said that your friends that do this with you, you can't see them. So that's what I love so much, you guys, because we are in a very odd time of life, every single one of us. I, I personally, I think classes are awesome. You can take these to a gym once life gets to normal, or if it's somewhat normal right now, I don't know where you are. But what I do know is this, if you need something to never leave you because you've been abandoned so many times, this will never let you down. It will never leave you. I have learned more from programs about myself. I have cried during programs. It has taught me discipline because let me tell you friends, motivation does not exist. Do not be ready for it. Don't be like, this is when, let it go. I'm never motivated to do laundry. I'm never motivated to have a clean house. I'm never motivated, but I always love the afters. I always love a clean house. I always love an empty laundry basket. I always love how I feel from the endorphins after I have served my body. Always remember the afters. They matter more because you have to do the work, right? So that's going to give you everything. It's going to give you your PDF files of how to eat the food, how to eat it correctly. The trainers, they're insanely amazing. They teach you how to be your own super trainer. Follow along, enjoy, listen, feel, connect. And then if emotional things come up for you, I have um, like a white eraser board and sometimes I just purge and I have to pause and write down things that are really like I'm going through in a workout because it's getting out the toxins but that also means the toxins of what is being held in your mind. So think about that, okay? This is a beautiful, beautiful experience, and it does come with the challenging moments. It's part of the growth, right? We have Shakeology, you guys. I'm gonna say this right now. I have tried everything. I've also tried the cheap way, but I never tried the quality way. And there's a difference, okay? There are quality hair products, so I'm also a hairdresser, and then there's crap, all right? And a lot of times people will go, well, I tried this hair product, but, you know, and I go, well, you can't use blah, 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 I'm not going to use names, but this is better because of blah, 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 right? I always think of a home or a car, right? I'm not going to buy a house that's unstable. I'm not gonna buy a home or car that could be dangerous. I have family, right? So if I had to spend a little bit more to have quality and longevity, that's the key one, you wanna think about what you're ingesting, right? You need key dense superfoods. We have missing links, right? You might have a missing link of confidence. You might have a missing link of consistency. You might have a missing link of discipline. You might have a missing link of, I don't even know what I do with food. It's a horrible relationship. Well, guess what? You can grab hold of this and this will teach you in less than five minutes a day, you can build your discipline. You can build your wellness and your health. And over time, oh my gosh, guys, it gets beautiful. Those high fives at your doctor's office mean everything. And a lot of us aren't thinking about our kidneys 
or our liver function or our eyesight. And a lot of us are not thinking of what could come that we need to fight for our life for. Because the fact remains, you can be healthy as a clam and things can still happen. Do you have the tools to fight for your life? That's mental and physical and financial. Do you have the tools to fight for it, right? You might have nothing to fight for right now. That's great. That's awesome. But what if you want to fight for more freedom? What if you want to fight for more health? What if you want to fight for more happiness? Shakeology. Honest to God. 76 superfoods. It's like going to your, your orchard. Mine's Butler's Orchard over here and handpicking your apples and all your fruits and all your vegetables and grinding them up and drying them up and laying them out on a table and placing them into a bag. It's as organic as it gets. And I'll tell you what, quality is the only thing going into this body because I deserve the best of the best because I am not worth anything less than that. And neither are you. And that's why your tingle tug is here tonight. So that's what we really have, you guys. We have this and then we have our community. And the community is your bread and your butter. Because you have to have something to look in the mirror and have accountability and friendships. And that little nudge when you need it. And that little virtual hug when you have to have it. It is, I, I never went to college. I dropped out twice, okay? But if I were in a sorority, this would be it because this sorority teaches me to be a better human being. It teaches me to be like, to forgive quicker. It teaches me to be more kind to everything around me. It teaches me that I need humble pie every day. It teaches me vulnerability. It teaches me that everything that I have created in disbelief of my future is not real and is not true. And you certainly can have what you want if you're willing to fight for it. And you know what sororities do? They do it together. They literally link up and say, we're doing whatever it is, hitting a goal together. And that's what we're looking for. We're looking for those sorority sisters that are like, damn it, I want to be healthy. I want to be happy. I want to thrive. I want to fight I want to have fun. I want to drink margaritas. I want to have tacos. I want to go to a retreat and meet these girls and have a bonfire with them and wake up and watch the sunrise with them and watch a sunset and create memories. Because that is what being part of a team is.